Okay, so for this solve, you faced with yellow on top and red facing. What you did is you did F2, L, D, L. Then you also did L prime, yeah, L prime, and then you did R, D prime, F, D2. Now your solution here could, wasn't exactly the best for your cross. Um, what you could have done better is you could have done D2, R prime, D prime, R, and you could have preserved this pair using U prime, then you would have done L prime, D prime, F prime, and then on top of that, you can actually X cross as well. You can do U2, L prime, U prime, L. You could have done D2, and it X crosses and leaves this pair to be solved right here. Okay, so then what you did here is you took out this edge and set this to be inserted, and you insert it like that. Cut right here. But, as you can see, what you could have done is you actually could have keyhole this and insert that right there, leaving this pair to be solved. Okay, next, what you did for your second pair is you actually did like UU prime because you're, I guess you're just like looking for something and then you, and then you rotate and did that. That was fine, but what you could have done is you could have just rotated to orange, done this, and inserted. But what you did also works. Okay, next, what you did for your third pair is you did UU because you were searching, and you could have just recognized it right here instead of doing the extra U. Because you already see the two white pieces and your two edges right here. That's right in front of you. So just try to do slow stalls and don't do extra U moves, okay? So for the next one, you rotated and you did R, U2, R. You put this in the back and you did B, U, B prime. Now what you did could have been finger tricked better. Technically, it's different moves, but not really. So what you want to... What you should have done, you should, you should have done fat F, R, F prime, and that would have left this solved. Then you left this out here, and you took this pair out, R, U, R, then you solve that, and then O, L, and P, L, L. Okay, so for you did for your cross right here is you align this and you accidentally did R. What you can do there is just hold your middle finger right here on this to prevent this layer from turning. That way when you turn it down, then what you did right here is you rotated, you did this, inserted that, inserted that, and then you forgot to insert this, so instead, what you did is you did it rotation, double rotation, did that, R prime, that, and that leads into your F tool. Another thing that you could have done, instead of like, what you could have done is you could have actually just simply, like, used double U moves, and you can use this for your, like, your cross whenever it comes to a situation like this, where this piece is in the right spot to be inserted, but the rest are only to be aligned with a D2. So you can just do a D2 and just make sure you know that this piece will be moved down. 
And this is a great way to avoid rotations as you go into that tool. So now what you did here for your white cross was, I would say, very inefficient as it had three rotations in it if you count the double rotation as two. So I think your choice to align this was good at first. Then what you could have done after this is do L prime R prime. And you could do F. Then you could actually do a fat you move. And that sets this up. And then you just do another you move and align across like that. And that leads into F to L. So seeing that we were to solve the this blue orange case right here, you took it out. I would not insert the corner and then take it out like that. That's a very beginner's method thing. And instead what I would do is I'd do R, U prime R, and that sets this up to be inserted. Okay, so next what you did is you solved the red blue pair. So I noticed that again, you did a lot of new moves and that seems to be a bad habit that you have. And so I w what I want you to start doing instead is instead look at all the top layer, see all of your white pieces so that you're looking for the red blue piece and you see, okay, this red white blue piece is right here and this green pair is right here. So what I could deduce is since that this piece is red and these other three pieces are all red, then this one has to be the blue red based off of the information we already know. And I personally would have solved this pair into the back, but what you did was also good because it was a good case. Um, what you did is you took this pair out and like you inserted it like that. And that led with a really bad case for that. So what you could have done instead is you could have actually done R2, F, R, prime, F prime, or, yeah, you, you get what it means. And then that leads to this case. Therefore, and this makes this a better case since it's not stuck in there. So once you did that, you had this case. And so the best thing you did, you did, you solved it like that, then you have your OOL and your J-Prim. Okay, so for what you did for this cross right here, what you did is you inserted these two, and while you're inserting orange, you also went ahead and inserted blue using orange. That's very good. And you could have finger tricked this better. So when you inserted orange, you could have left your finger right here and repositioned it right here, and inserted that orange. Okay, so what you did for cross was it wasn't bad, but it could have been a lot better and a lot faster. So what I would have done instead of facing blue is I would have faced orange. I would have simply solved green like this and blue at the same time. Then I can just insert both of these with F and B prime and then align the cross and that leads into F tool. What you did next is you saw this orange green thing right here. And so basically, you just took that out, inserted it like that. Then right here, you notice this blue-orange pair. And you tried to figure out how to do this. And you thought, okay, I have to do it like this. But remember, you don't have to rotate to do this case. You can actually either move this out of the way and move the edge of this. Or you can even move this out of the way, and that leaves this case up. But what you did here is that, and then you could have either rotated here, but that would leave it on the side. So what you did was put it in the back slot, which is good. However, you did B, U, B, which the finger tricks are fine, 
but you could have done fat f l f doing essentially the same thing next is what you did is you solved this case your solution for that was just fine and right here um you could have done something a little bit different so what you did is you took that out which is good and you rotated and put that in but what you could have done instead is you could have just simply either put it in with an f insert or you could do a sledge like this so after you inserted you did OO and PLO Okay, so what you did here for your cross is you did U prime, this, right? And then you inserted that. And right here, after that, what you could have done is you could have done this, and that would have set this to be inserted up. But instead, what you did is you inserted this right here. Then you did U2, B2. And even for this, what you could have done instead is just done D like that. And that would have inserted that edge. Okay, so right here, what you did is you rotated, inserted it like this. Um, what you could have done is you could have done fat F prime and put that in like that. But what you did works as well. And that actually puts that in the front, so that's not good, because you want to make sure you're solving your cases in the back. So then, I believe what you do next here... So, if you look at this recognition, you actually can see that you can put this in just by that, or you could do that as well. And then you have this case right here, which could also work right here. What you did right here is you took this edge out right here, like that, and you did R2, U2, R prime, and put that in there. All right. Um, something you could do is, it's a little bit different of an option, but you could have done this right there, and it's slightly less moves. But what you did is just fine. Then I believe you rotated, you did that, and you inserted that. So what you could have done actually is you could have simply done this like that two or you could have done R2 B prime R2 like that and it leaves for that case as well. But what you did was just fine and it led to this case and you did that and Z prime which is good. Now? Yes, I'm actually in my fifth solve. Finished. Uh, my average is 16.59. Uh, okay, so what you did right here for this cross is you did R prime D, you insert that right there. Then right here, you insert that like that, which is a bit odd. Okay, so right here, what you have here is what you do next is you solve this red blue pair, or this red green pair, excuse me. And what you did was a very interesting solution that I've never actually seen. I don't think I've seen before. But besides the case, the, your solution for this FTL pair was pretty good. But you didn't notice this pair in the back that was solved. Free pair that you could have solved right there. So something that a lot of people have is f tunnel vision. And that means they'll just solve the first f pair to see no matter how bad it is. So again, before you solve each f pair, try to just quickly scan the entire cube. Like don't do this. Just look at your top face, your front face 
and what you can see on your side faces. And this will help you make sure that you don't, that you choose the uh, FTOL cases that are better for you and not worse. But anyways, what you did is you solved this and that was very interesting. So then you inserted that. Then after this case, I believe you solved red blue or orange blue right here. You solve that using this, which again, as I pointed out in previous solves, isn't the most efficient solution. So what you can do instead is you can just do R U prime R prime and that sets this pair up to be inserted. But anyways, after you inserted this, what you did right here is you rotated and you rotated again and you insert it like that or you insert it in some way where that pair ended up being solved but anyways you inserted that pair you did your ll and then your pll so yeah but uh i hope this critique helped you and yep goodbye